always been also, I, I think, a, a great representation, if you don't mind my saying, of the band's sense of humor as well. That, you know, here's this very you know, it, it conjuring up, you, yeah. know, you know, what you would immediately see, but also going, hey, there's a bit of a bit of a wink and a smile here. And speaking of sense of humor, you go as far as to record a song called The Tears of a Clown on, on the new album, Tears of a Clown. Yeah. About Robin Williams, and you know, as a, as a North American, we we kind of think of North Amer uh, Robin Williams as such a North American character. Obviously, not very much a worldwide character. But I was thinking about it and, and thinking, you know, th there have been lots of funny people over the years, but here was a guy dying under such tragic circumstances, who was not just a funny guy. He was like one of the all-time funny, lovable guys. And I know you didn't write the song, but how did, how did it come about? No, I mean, Steve, <clears throat> well, Steve wrote the song, and, uh, uh, or Steve wrote the words to the song. And um, so, we, you know, we were recording it, and, uh, and, and he didn't tell anybody what it was about. Now, I had no idea when I was singing the song that it was about Robin Williams. So, finished doing the tune, and um, I went up to him and I, I, I said, I said, what, this, these, these words are really, really cool. I said, what's the genesis of the tune? And he said, it's Robin Williams. I went, oh, wow. And, and it surprised, surprised the hell out of me because it was, because it was so specific. And it, it's unusual for, for Steve to be so direct about uh, subject matter. You know, uh, I mean, like he d does sort of you know, rhyme with the ancient mariner. Okay, it's 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 an epic poem. S Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Yeah, fine. But to be so specific, specific and direct about a, a recent kind of tragic event and write a song about that guy, uh, I I was really surprised. I mean, <clears throat> in um, it's it's kind of I don't know. It's not really appropriate to say pleasantly surprised, but it was it was it felt really good that he'd written in that way because. I think, in some way, he maybe um, uh, felt some kind of affinity to the, the sense of you know isolation and, and things like that. You know, uh, that, that that Robin Williams maybe felt because there's some speculation in there in, in the song about yeah exactly what he feels and but you get the impression that some of those things are maybe quite close to home with you know with Steve himself you know. Um, so uh, yeah, that was, I was like, mm, okay.